Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing? Well, today is Vlogmas Day 5 and it looks like it's fixing to start raining. <laughs> but it's kind of looked like this, like that all day. So, But I have been super busy. I have been cleaning house all day. It's I have neglected it. <laughs> and so I thought it was time. I got in there and straightened it up. So I did and I just now got finished. So it took me all day. <laughs> and so that and then I ended up uh, cooking on top of that while I was uh, cleaning. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing good and I want to get up here and share with you guys what I've made for today. And I'm super excited about it because I've always wanted to make some and I've just never gotten around to it. It's one of those things, you know. <laughs> I always say, well, I'll do it. I'll do it this week or and then that week comes and I never do it. And then, and then by the time it gets through, I think, well, okay, I'll... Uh, I'll make them for next year and so this time I sat down and I made them this time so <laughs> got it got it done so now it is a free pattern by Olive of Stringy Ding Ding and she came out with these I believe it was back in 2019 and there was like a whole set of them there is a, uh, a snowman Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus oh I should have brought her out because I've made her I've actually made Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus and, but they were a gift for somebody, but I ended up making me Mrs. Claus, and I do have a Mr. Uh, Santa Claus, but it's the smaller one, so I still got to make me the Mr. Claus, and so, but I'll show you her tonight whenever I uh, share with you guys the ornament for the day, and so let's see what else does she have, uh, a set of angels, a reindeer, which I gotta get me one of them, <laughs> and uh, Christmas pudding, I have made one of them too, and I'll uh, share that with you guys tonight. And the other is gingerbread, so but you can't guess which one I end up making. <laughs> I made the gingerbread boy and the gingerbread girl, and I just think they're the cutest things. <laughs> I have a spot. We call it the invisible TV because I don't have TV, <laughs> and so where the TV normally would sit, it's a, a big space. And so I use it for nothing but to put uh, decor, like different times of the year, you know, see different seasons and stuff like that. So right now I've got it decorated in Christmas. And so I'm trying to do it in nothing but uh, vintage and crochet things. So, um, it's, so it's a little bare right now, but I'm getting there. <laughs> but I'm, I'm still gonna show you guys, I'm gonna do a little uh, video to show you what it looks like. But anyway, these, I just got through making these. Well, it's it's probably been about a week, I guess, something like that, maybe two. I don't know, but uh, uh, I have them setting up there where the invisible TV is, <laughs> and I absolutely love these. These are oh, I I do I love these guys. <laughs> okay, so what I ended up using was the mainstay brown, and I used the uh, mainstay green, and then the red is that. Uh, Red Heart Super Saver, I believe it's that. No, no, it's not. I do believe, and I'm pretty sure it is that same skein that I bought from the antique store. <laughs> and it's red, Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn. On the phone, it looks real bright red, but it's not. And then I used Mainstay White for the icing around its their head and their arms and their feet. And then the cheeks are the is the uh pink from hobby lobby i love this yarn and i don't know really the real name i just know it's pink looking I, i've lost the ball band and so and i used a 3.2 millimeter hook and on all her patterns she always i believe uses a four but i just love these two <laughs> they're so cute i love her little bow on top of her head there now the only thing that i did different with the with her let me set him down is I ended up doing a white, uh, like an icing around the bottom of her skirt, and I did it like a scalloped edge. I think on hers, I think it was just um, a single crochet around there, but I wanted to give it a little bit more of a detail, and so I did a scalloped edge. So then the other thing I did whenever I put her skirt on, I ended up going in and out, sewing it on, I think, I, yeah, with the red. So I thought that gave it a little bit of a pop of a color down here. And then with her, she's got two buttons, but with me putting the skirt up a little higher, I was able just to get one, which you probably could do too if you just made a smaller circle. 
or you could use real buttons so that would be cute too maybe I should have done that I didn't think about it <laughs> and then I just love her little smile and I think with her she didn't put icing around her uh, hands on hers but I went ahead and did it with this one but I just think they're the sweetest things and I love them and I have them like I said I have them sitting up there where the invisible TV is next to a tree <laughs> And this is by Olive, if I didn't mention it already, it's by Olive of Stringy Ding Ding. And it is free on her blog, but she also has a paid-for PDF download if you'd like to have that instead. So, so cute, and I love them. <laughs> okay, now the next thing I'm going to share with you is the square that I'm going to be adding to the blanket. Now, uh, yesterday, I shared with you the uh, coffee mug or hot hot chocolate I should say <laughs> hot chocolate and this is by Maria's blue uh, crayon and this was um, her applique to add on there now like I had mentioned before I've, I've gotten different appliques from different designers that I'm gonna uh, lost my train of thought there with that vehicle <laughs> but I think it had a trailer pulling it behind it but anyway so the square that I'm gonna be adding to it this time is Mrs. Claus <laughs> Now, this is one. This is a uh, one that I just did, did it myself. <laughs> I wanted to put a Mrs. Claus on there. Let me get her up a little closer where you can see her. And so what I did is I followed the one that Maria has for the elf on this part of the face, and then I just went back and I believe hit the I did the hair the same way except I gave her white hair, and then I just went in and gave her some earrings lay that down gave her some earrings and I used some scrap ball of gray for that and then I just whip stitched her nose and gave her some eyes and gave her a little um, oh a little bit of red there to kind of you know like she's got a bow in her hair I was actually gonna make some holly leaves and I did but I thought that was a little bit too much sometimes less is more and I just liked it better without it but I think she's cute <laughs> got to have a Mrs. Claus on there so but anyway, uh, like I said, you can just follow the elf pattern and just add your own things there to it, the earrings and everything. And, and I gave her some blush. And uh, I used uh, Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in peach. And then that's that red again. <laughs> and then Mainstay White. And then a scrap ball of that. And this is Red Heart Super Saver Erin. Uh, so... I think she's so cute and the square that is going to go on the other side of it will be this red so it'll be something like this this <laughs> and that because this one is that red heart super saver and that what is that cherry red i guess i guess i need to look on the ball band i never think about it so and I think I forgot to mention what size of hook. I think I did in the beginning, but um, five and a half is what I used to make it. So, and I'm just, you know, crocheting the, the, them together with single crochet. And I really like that. Frames it up. <laughs> All right. And that's a mainstay white there. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Now, the next thing is the scrappy blanket that is a surprise to me and a surprise to you guys whenever i reveal the colors and uh, i really love doing this like i said it's fun doing a scrappy project and especially when you don't know what colors are going to be in here now yesterday let me get it out because i done forgot what colors he picked and this is a pattern by jada and stitches and it's just a half double crochet and she does have a video tutorial on it if you want to make you one all right, it was the mainstay, mainstay green and mainstay uh, yellow is the colors that we added to it. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking that it's turning out really pretty. I don't know, I'm not thinking. I think it is. <laughs> I love this. Oh my goodness, I love a scrappy blanket. It's my favorite. And so, actually, I was looking at the one I did. It was maybe last year. I you know, I used all the scrap balls, but I held white with it. And boy, it turned out so pretty. I need to show you guys that and that other blanket I keep talking about. And I'm using a size six millimeter hook. Yep, I got a stitch marker on here somewhere that says it. Yep, a J hook. 
with my cute little stitch marker fish that Ashley gave me. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, that's what we got there. So now let's see what the next uh, colors are going to be. All right, I'll put it back in my bag there. Oh, I don't know why I put that back, because I'm going to hold it up next to it. I got ahead of myself. Goodness gracious. Let me dig it back out. <laughs> oh, I'm so easily distracted today. I think it was cleaning house for so long. <laughs> All right, let's see what he's got. Now, the, for, I've got a few new uh, friends on here, so what I'm doing is, I'll explain real quick. Um, my hubby will go into my craft room and pick out a couple of scrap balls and, puts it, and put it in this bag, and then I reveal it to you guys, and it's a surprise, it is a surprise to you, and it's a surprise to me. And it's just a bunch of yarned uh, scrap balls and skeins and stuff like that. And so I'm anxious to see what he's got in here. And me and Ashley did this, um, was it last year and maybe earlier this year? And it was so much fun. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what we got here. First one. Oh, yeah, I, I, it feel, it's, there's a skein and a ball in here. So first one is, oh, a metallic gray. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. All right, this is Red Heart Super Saver Light Gray, and it's got that metallic in it. Oh, I love that. That's going to be so pretty. Let's see if I can get it up here without dropping it. Look at that. That's going to be so pretty on there. I love that. And see, the bottom's got metallic in it, too. So, all right. Set it right there. Try not to drop it there on the ground. And the next one is... Oh, wow. Now, that is going to be gorgeous on there. Look at that, guys. He did really good. Look at that. Well, he's been doing really good anyway, but boy, really, look at that. Now, that's going to be so pretty up there with that. Oh, I love that. So, I'm anxious to get in there and get this one whipped up on there. <laughs> I love that. That is a, um, I'm thinking that's Red Heart Super Saver is what I'm thinking. I know Hobby Lobby has one, and this has got that glitter in it. So it's either Red Heart Super Saver or uh, Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn. And so I'll go in there tonight whenever I'm watching everybody else, and I put three rows in of half double crochet. So super excited about that. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going to toss that back in there, and I'll put it back here in a bit. All right, well, I guess I'm going to hop off of here and and get busy doing something it's i still got a few more things i need to do before i call it an evening to do my chores and everything but anyway i'll be hopping right back up here later on tonight to share with you guys the ornament of the day all right guys it's time to reveal the ornament for the day for the tree and it's still day five and this one is <laughs> it was a lot of fun to make and it's really cute and it is a free pattern on yarnspiration and it is Mrs. Claus. I just think she's the cutest thing. <laughs> and I think they have like Mr. Claus and an angel. Oh, I'm thinking the other one might be an elf, if I remember right. But uh, I can't remember. I'll put a link down below where you can go check it out. It's a, a free PDF download. Now, also, Terry from Yarnjoy Podcast. She had permission to do a tutorial on them. So she's got a left-handed version and a right-handed version if you want to go make you one. But I just thought she was so cute. And, of course, i got to have a Mrs. Claus for my tree. And I actually think this is my first Mrs. Claus ornament that I'll be adding to the tree. So, And I did her in Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in peach. Mainstay white. That is that same red... <laughs> Oh, about dropped her. Yes, that's that red from the Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And then I gave her some little safety eyes and whip stitched her a nose. And then I added some blush on her there. So I just think she's the cutest thing. <laughs> All right. That's what the ornament I have to share with you guys today. Now, earlier I had mentioned uh, Mrs. Claus that I have made from Olive of Stringy Ding Ding. And I've made two of Mrs. Claus. And I have made one of Mr. Claus of the same size is what I'm fixing to show you. Now, here is 
get it straightened up here. The cats mess with her a little bit. And speaking of cats, they did end up knocking one ornament out last night, and it was the uh, soldier boy. So <laughs> they, I guess they couldn't go without knocking one out another night. So, but anyway, here she is. <laughs> I love this uh, Mrs. Claus. She it was so much fun to make and really easy. And uh, like I said, I've made a set already and gifted them to uh, to my family. And then I have I have to have me a set now. So, but I still got to make Mr. Claus. So I'm going to eventually get around to that. Hopefully one day real soon. So, but anyway, I just think she's so cute, and I did her. Um, in the Red Heart Super Saver in that uh, cherry red, I'm going to say this was Mainstay White, and that's that glittery green that's from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Mainstay Green, some more of that uh, Red Heart Super Saver red, and uh, Peach from Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn, and look at her legs. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Have the little stripes around them. I, I do. I absolutely love this. Um, Mrs. Claus, and I actually, I added a button on the front of her apron right there. I can't remember how Olive has it on her pattern. I forgot to look, but I, I think I added this, and maybe this part here, the pocket. I'd have to look. So, but anyway, I just think she's so cute, and I, like I said, I can't wait to make Mr. Claus to go with her. Okay, and, uh, and I used a 3.2 millimeter hook. Tell you what, it wore me out cleaning the house today. <laughs> kind of forgetting things. All right, now the next one I'm going to share with you, I made this one uh, last year. And I need to fix these pom-pom because I think somebody's kitty cat's probably messed with it. But anyway, here is one of hers. Now that Mrs. Claus, I forgot to mention that. There's like a whole series or a whole set in this, which is Mr. Uh, Claus. And the reindeer and the gingerbread that I showed you earlier, and the uh, all the Christmas pudding, which I actually forgot to get that to show you. Hold on a minute. <laughs> all right, I had hubby go get it for me. <laughs> it, it's hard on me getting up and down on this floor. I tell you what, I'm not as uh, limber as I used to be in my younger <laughs> years. But anyway, here is the Christmas pudding that I made, and this is part of the set that she has too. And then there are, I don't know if I mentioned angels. So there's a whole bunch of them. They're so cute. And I want to make all of them. So I've gotten this, Mrs. Claus, and the gingerbread. So I, I need to get busy. <laughs> but anyway, here is the Mr. Uh, Claus. Now this is one that she has up there. And I think he's by himself. And so he's a lot smaller than her. And so, but I had a lot of fun making him too. And I just think they're just the cutest things. And I, like I said, I need to fix his pom-pom. I made it a little, probably a little loose. Or the kitty cats have probably been playing with it. And he's got his little gift bag there, his little uh, sack, I guess, with all of his toys. And I did it in the same colors as what I did Mrs. Claus in. So, but I do. I love these. They're just as cute as can be. All right. And I'll put links down below where you guys can all go check it out. Anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off of here and I'm actually going to pop me a bag of popcorn and I'm going to throw me a whole handful of M&Ms in it. <laughs> I love doing that. And so I'm going to do that, work on my blankets and watch some YouTube. But anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed evening and I'll see you tomorrow on Vlogmas um, Day 6. <laughs>